Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlemon.com and I'm back with another Google Cloud Compute Engine tutorial video and in this video we will learn how to map our domain with Google Cloud Compute Engine VM instance. We are using Nginx web server so we will also learn how to create a server block or virtual host for our domain. For this video we are going to refer to this blog post. The blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. So first thing to point our domain with Google Cloud Compute Engine VM instance, we need to first create a DNS zone. For creating a DNS zone, I'm going to first open Google Cloud Compute Engine VM instance page. So let me open my browser. Okay, so this is our instance one, Google Cloud Compute Engine VM instance page. The first thing I need to open Google Cloud DNS. Okay, for this, I'm going to click on this menu, navigation menu icon, and then under nav under network services we can find the cloud dns option okay for this video i already opened this page the next thing we need to create a new zone for our domain for this i'm going to click on create zone zone name i'm going to use i'm i want to use myangsangvi.oo so that's why i'm going to use myangsangvi oo as a zone name okay for my DNS name, I'm going to use myangsangvi.oo. We are not going to discuss about domain security in this video. Okay, the next option is the description. This option is optional. So that's it. Click on create button to create your DNS zone. So my DNS zone is created successfully for domain myangsangvi.oo. The next thing we need to copy this name server and we need to update this name server on our domain service provider control panel for this i'm going to again open my browser so i'm going to open my domain service provider control panel i'm on my domain provider control panel page so let me first search my domain so this is my domain myangsangvi.triple so i'm going to click on this domain and then i'm going to select name server option okay so let me click on name server and we need to update our name server here so let me switch back to google cloud compute engine page so this is our name server name we need to update this four records i'm going to copy the first record and i'm going to paste it just here so i updated all four records so let me confirm whether my records are correct or not okay so all records are correct so name nscloud-e1.googledomains.com nscloud-e1.googledomains.com 1, 2, 3 and 4 so we updated the 4 records the next thing I am going to click on update name servers the name server changes will take some time to an effect the next thing we need to perform is we need to create a record set for this I am going to click on add record set add record set we are going to select type A okay an A record is used to point your domain with a physical virtual machine IP address. Okay, so I want to point my triple O with my VM instance. So this is my VM instance IP address. So I'm going to copy this entire IP address and I'm going to paste it just here. Okay, so our first A record is created successfully. When we are going to click on create, then if anyone is going to visit triple O, then our visitors request is going to react on this IPv4 address. Okay, so let me click on create and again it is going to take some time to take an effect. So let me quickly check whether we are able to receive the correct uh, IP address or not. So I'm going to simply open cmd command prompt and I'm going to ping my domain name. Okay, so right now all these changes are not in effect. It will take some time. Okay, so for the timing, ignore it. The next thing I want to create a record set for the next thing I want to create a record set for WW alias. For this, I'm going to click on add record set and this time for DNS name, I'm going to type WW. I'm going to type triple W. Record type is C name and this C name is going to point to our first record set the first record set is myank sangvi.triple o ensure my domain name is correct 
it's mang sung v dot triple o yes it is correct let me click on create so our two record sets are created the first one is for mang sung v dot triple o and the second record is for ww dot mang sung v dot triple o okay so if anyone is going to visit my website with mang sung v dot triple o or triple w dot mang sung v dot triple o then our user is going to rewrite on this IP address 104.154.148.90. The next thing, let me quickly again check. Let me again try to ping our domain name. So I'm going to type cmd and to open command prompt, and then I'm going to simply ping mangsangvi dot triple o. So here I'm not able to ping my website so let's try to check it on proxy side we are not able to connect it let's first create the server block and then we are going to check this letter so let me close this the next thing i want to create a server block for this we need to open our sss terminal so i'm going to open ssh in browser window our SSS panel is started successfully. So let me try to arrange my browser windows. So we can copy paste command from our blog post. The first thing we need to create a configuration file for our new domain. We want to use myangsangvi.triplo. So we need to create the config file with the same name. So this is the command to create a configuration file in etc nginx sites available directory. I'm going to click on this floppy disk to copy this command and then I'm going to paste it just here. Hit enter to execute this. Okay. Now I directly copied the command because I want to use the same domain name. If you want to map your own domain, then you need to first edit this command inside notepad and then you need to paste it here. So let me quickly show how to edit this. For this, you need to simply open the notepad and inside the notepad you need to use your own domain name here that's it you need to edit this part so let me minimize this the next thing again this configuration is for my domain here instead of my domain mangsangvi.triple o you need to use your own domain name so i'm going to copy this entire code and i'm going to paste it inside the nano editor okay the first thing you need to change this one myangsangvi.triple o the next thing you need to change myangsangvi.triple o and the last thing you need to change is www.myangsangvi.triple o so you need to edit your domain on three places okay so we are done with the configuration file to save this changes we need to press ctrl o from our keyboard and to close the nano editor we need to press ctrl x so let me quickly clear my terminal window the next thing we need to create this directory okay so right now this directory is not available so let me quickly open this directory where ww and then i'm going to use ls command to list the content okay so in this we only have an html directory i need to create this where ww myangsangvi.triplo html directory for this we are going to use we need to use this command so let me quickly copy this command and i'm going to paste it inside our terminal okay so i skip this uh, enable and restart the nginx services because i want to first check the default content for our myangsangvi.triplo so sorry we are still not able to ping our main domain myangsangvi.triplo so again it is going to take some time okay so using this command our directory is created successfully let's check it one more time ls yes our directory is created successfully let me open myangsangvi.triplo and then again i'm going to use ls command to list the content it's html and again i want to open html directory so cd html now we are inside html let me clear the terminal our directory is created successfully next thing we need to change the ownership for this directory for this i'm going to copy this command 
again all these commands are based on my domain name you need to edit this before using it you need to edit all this command based on your domain name the next thing we need to change the the next command is used to change the permission for our html directory okay so let me quickly copy this command i'm going to click on this floppy disk and then i'm going to paste it just here hit enter okay so we successfully created the web root directory for myangsangvi.triple o we change its owner we change its we change its permission the next thing i need to create a demo file we are going to use this command to create a an index.html so let me quickly copy this and i'm going to paste it just here okay index.html and inside the nano editor i'm going to copy this entire html code you can use your own html content if you want to use this html content feel free to use it to save this changes i'm going to press ctrl o from my keyboard and uh, ctrl x to close the nano editor now we are almost done with the configuration let me check with uh, the proxy site whether we are able to access our domain or not uh, no i don't think so we are able to access our domain let me check on our uh, ssh panel whether we are able to trace our domain or not so it's mm, trace root man sangvi dot triple o hit enter okay so it is not installed yet so we are not able to test our domain but uh, the configuration is correct we need to perform all this apply all this configuration settings we need to test our nginx configuration so let me quickly test the nginx configuration so i'm going to test it first okay so everything is okay if everything is okay then you need to restart the nginx services oh uh, sorry to enable our domain we need to first create a symbolic link for our myangsangvi.triple o and for creating a symbolic link we are going to copy this command and we are going to simply paste it here okay so this command is going to create a symbolic link for myangsangvi.triple o myangsangvi.triple o is available in sites available directory to enable this website we need to create a symbolic link inside sites enable hit enter to execute this command Again, I'm going to test the the engine X configuration. It is okay. Finally, I'm going to restart my engine X service. We are done with creating the server block for my Sunvi dot triple O. Unfortunately, we are not able to test it right now because the changes is not in effect. Now, finally, I want to share one more thing. Inside our configuration. Inside our configuration for myangsangvi.triple o, we are not handling the PHP request. To handle the PHP request, you need to add following lines. So we need to use these uh, lines for handling the PHP request. So I'm going to copy this, and we need to paste it inside our nginx configuration for myangsangvi.triple o. So this is my SSH panel. Let me try to again open the configuration for mine dot triple o. Okay, so you need to just paste this command. Uh, you need to paste all this line just here. Okay, so let me quickly paste it. And uh, to save these changes, I'm going to press Control O. To close this, we are going to use Control X. And finally, I'm going to clear this. And again to test the nginx configuration. I am going to use this command. Paste it just here. Okay, so something is wrong. So our test is failed. So let's check what is wrong. <coughs> Fast CGI config failed in the Mang Sangvi dot triple o sixteen. Okay, so for I think I misspelled this one. So let's check what is the correct part. So I'm going to first copy this. I'm going to use this cd etc. Hit enter, and then I'm going to type ls. And inside this, we have snippets. Okay. So instead of 
R I am using instead of T I am using R so this is a typo so let me quickly fix this one I intentionally so I'm going to again open my configuration for mining sangvi dot triple O and I'm going to simply remove this R and I'm going to use T control O hit enter control X let's again check uh let let's again check the status for our configuration now it's okay and again i'm going to restart the services for this i'm going to use this command now on our domain we can handle php request also finally around after 40 minutes we are able to access our domain mangsangvi.triple o in the meantime i did not perform anything i did not change it I did not change anything in the configuration okay so yes with all this setups we are able to create a new server block and virtual host for our mangsangvi.triplo domain okay so for name server changes you need to wait for some time you can use the same step for creating another server block another domain or subdomain so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on like subscribe share it with everyone po provide your feedback and see you all in next google cloud compute engine tutorial video some important reminders